Now you just come up there and duplicate the feel of what you're doing with the club. Feel the club and the club head and make it work. Oh, fun. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What about with the driver? Well, exactly. I know. So, uh, hey Mike, what about with the driver? So now we have a floating driver here. Hopefully this effect has worked for us. What's going to feel a little bit different? Now, here's what's interesting with me. The driver is the easiest club in the bag for me to do this with. Yeah. Why? It's the longest where there's the most. I can feel the weight of it. You put it up on a tee, it's further forward in your stance. You're trying to catch it on the upswing. The ground's not in play. I mean, this is this is simple. Okay. So, but it's the same, it's the exact same face work. So the face doesn't open and close. That's perfect. And that's how you practice your driver. You start at that speed right there. The first time you hit the range and the first time you pull out driver, are you hitting uh, some shots? Like this, Mike? That's exactly how I warm up. I'll, I'll do my putting, chipping, pitching. I come out here, the first few shots I hit, I take my driver out, and I make nice big full swings at about one four speed, and I just feel how the club's working, how it works back, how it's working through the ball and on the follow through. I hit a little high, I hit a low, I hit a hook, I hit a fade, and then I go back and start to re warm up, and I come back to the driver at the end. So you're hitting like, you're hitting like little. 25% hooks and fades. Yeah. Okay. So here's... first, first hit it high. So set the face square. You got a little shot, right there. Now work the face the way we did and get the shaft to lean, which you feel like is backwards. So you hit it high. Every Higher. Time you try to hit it high, it goes left. That's it's because the opposite of what. No, that's because that's because high to you, high to you means rotate your hands. You know, it's got to be it's got to be this right hand working what feels to be under. Your right hand feels like it works under. That's better. Add more loft to it. Come on. There you go. So that's that's how to learn how to hit a driver. And then you gradually build the length of the swing up and you build the speed up. And 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 you know, I've always driven the ball really well and that's where I spent the majority of my time practicing my driver was about at the speed you just hit it. Yeah. And at there, I would feel how everything synced out, how my hands worked, how the club worked, and, and I'd hit shots. Okay, Mike, we're going to shortcut the process a little bit. And okay. I'm going to make this club go probably about 111 miles an hour at okay. the end. So I'm going to take a, like I've seen you do a little bit, so I'm going to, I'm going to step back here. I'm going to take a few, or I'm still feeling that feeling. None of your practice swings, though, are, are much more than, than that, right? No, because I'm just trying to feel how the face works and where the club's got to be through impact. So lean the shaft a little back and then how it goes around me so I hit the shot I want. And then, now you just come up there and duplicate the feel of what you're doing with the club. Feel the club and the club head and make it work. Oh, fun. Wow. <laughs> yeah, flew the range. Cool. You hit it off the range. <laughs> Oh. Little assist, Mister Mister Invisible just hit it off the rat. I, mean, I don't know if I can qualify for the tour as just a club and a glove. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the Adams family. I'll be. I'll, what did they call it? Just the hand, the thing, the thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, same thing except tip the club out a little sooner. So add loft to it sooner. So get that energy that's in the club head sooner. Going to the ball sooner. Sooner. Get it going right now. <laughs> Now, okay, that was awesome. Where did the ball go? High right. Well, it went high. Uh -huh. It went high, yeah. Okay, so that's about the launch angle you want to launch okay. a ball at. So you just felt, with the club that time, you felt where your club has to be at impact to make the ball launch on the angle you want it to launch at. So I just got to square it up from there. Exactly. All right, last one. Okay, so Mike, I'm going to get disciplined here, and I'm going to have these little feels where I'm feeling that energy there. Is getting out of there. Get it. There you go. It goes left and doesn't. There you go. Good, 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 good. Okay, now you just duplicate that feeling through the ball with what you did with the club and the club head. Oh, it's really close. Even though it was a terrible shot, I could feel. It, no, it wasn't terrible. Close. The only thing that was off. Yeah. 
is your instincts. You were really good and you got right to the ball and this turned the face yeah. over. So yeah. your arm turned, the, you don't trust have that. to turn the face over. You can, yeah, just trust that. A part unless part. you're hitting, unless you're hitting great big slices to the right, the last thing you want to do is turn the face over. So you want to feel like that club head runs into the ball and as it goes around to the left, you feel like the heel is leading the toe. Stand the shaft up, stand it up sooner. Stand it up by getting it, go, there you go. Stand it up sooner, but don't turn the face down. There you go. Stand it up sooner. So at impact, you're going to feel like the shaft's leaning back. But the face doesn't turn down. Okay. I can't make the shaft stand up without okay. also it, it pointing left. All right, so, so on this one, yeah. on this one, hit it easy and hit the ball as high as you can hit it. Okay. Just hit it high. Hit it easy, but hit it high. So you got to add loft to the face and get as high as you can hit it. That's fine. Do it again. Get it as high as you can hit it with that driver. So you got to make it go high. Face shut, then it's got to open and hit it high. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Now hit it high and make it fade a little bit. Same thing. Add loft and make it fade. Uh, no, nope. you feel it out of the heel, but you, you also turned it over. So hit it high again, feel the shaft, and then feel the face not turn down. So you hit a high face. Perfect. Okay, now. So we got you to feel how to use the shaft through impact to get the shaft to be not so far out in front of you. So you got the shaft at impact back to where it's, that's where these guys get now. They get back to where the shaft is at address. They don't lean the handle way forward with the driver. Up and down, yeah. And then, then the face has to work so it doesn't turn down. So you stand the shaft up. Perfect. That was awesome. That was a lot more occasions. So you can, you know, so, high five the glove. So, <laughs> so, yeah, hi, hey, way to go, glove. So, so the deal here is you're learning how to first get the shaft to work so you get the launch angle you want, and then how does your hand work the face in that swing arc so the ball doesn't curve too much. And you put those two together, and they're all shaft angle at impact, face through the ball. That's club related. All right, Mike, I'll do, I'll do my wrap up uh, to the world here. <laughs> Holy mackerel. It is... Uh, I don't know how Spider-Man does it. <laughs> it's hard to breathe through this damn thing. Okay, uh, last shot. I uh, really appreciate you watching, and I'm, uh, you think I want to be out here embarrassing myself in this ridiculous suit? No, I'm doing it for the subs, so hit the subscribe the, button. The rally, <laughs> the, the subscribe, this is spectacular. If I could do one thing with video, one thing with video companies, this is my scream to the universe yeah. relative to golf instruction. Tech guys, make it happen. Tech guys, make this happen. If I could take a video and highlight either the club or the club head or your right hand or your left hand or your right arm or your left arm or circle your hips or your right knee or your left knee or your feet and whatever I touched and circled was the only thing the person could watch when they watched their swing and they worked on that one thing, yeah. people would get so much better so fast it's incredible because Forced you, concentration. Get, you, yeah. get, you get all of us, me included, you get distracted with multiple other things and you don't stay on one thing long enough to get a sense of what it's doing. So Brandon, I, 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 I salute you for actually being dedicated enough to show up in a damn orange suit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tilt the shaft back, make the face not turn down. Yeah. Oh, so good. Home run. Over that hill. That is way over the hill. Let's, right. let's way gone. Okay, guys, stay tuned. N next time on Be Better Golf, you're going to see the same video, only all you're going to see of me is, uh, is a right arm and a head because I want to breathe this time. The final thing that I'm going to motivate you guys to do is check out the awesome content at MalaskaGolf.com membership site where if, you, if you're a Be Better Golfer and you use the special code that uh, Mike's team has set up, you're going to get a discount. So at least try it out because it, there's some, uh, some very exclusive, interesting stuff on there. If you dig what Mike's saying, that's really where the uh, where the the knowledge and the the action plan come together. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. I think there's a difference between this motion, yes, and this motion. Exactly. So what you just did right there is what your golf swing should feel like. So it does feel like a throw. That's exactly what it feels like.
that's a poof, you just throw in it. So now this time I want you to feel like, this time we're going to go back and the face works the same way, but as you come through the ball, you're going to leave your hand behind your, your wrist. Okay. So this one's going to go low because your hand stays behind your wrist. Good shot, not Good super shot, low. Not super low. Hit it a little easier. Okay. Yep. And I want you to hit it where you go back uh -huh. and you go through the ball. Your wrist feels like it hinges and then it feels like it never unhinges. But the face, there we go. Okay, perfect. Yep. All right, this is awesome.